Okay. Awesome, Scott. I'm so glad, Scott, you took time out of your day to connect with me on this call so that we could share um, some of your experiences that you have had working with alongside with me. Um, I truly have enjoyed being your friend after all this time, too. So uh, do you remember when you took the uh, intuition and mediumship development class? I believe it was close to two years ago. Has it really been that long, two years? I believe so, yeah. Wow, I love it. That's so awesome. Yeah. I was I mean, talking fall, 2016. Okay. okay. I was talking to somebody yesterday that was four years and it's like, God, it's so cool to become friend and like just see each other's lives grow, you know, and shit right. and change. Um yeah. I think once you make um that spiritual type of connection, it's just it's there forever, like soul sister, soul brother type of thing. Right. right? Agreed. Yeah. I love it. Um, so like I was asking you before, like what, before you took the class, do you remember, do you recall, like, what was your life like? Like, were you struggling in anything or what was your life like before you took the class? Before I took the class, I was struggling because I didn't know exactly, uh, what my problem was. Uh, I knew that, uh, I was seeing flashes go in front of me. I was seeing shadows walk by, uh, I was hearing things that I was, my anxiety level was through the roof and, um, that was my biggest issue. So going to doctors for like the last 10 years and them telling me that uh, I might have a medical issue, but we can't find a medical issue and maybe labeling me as schizophrenic, which turned out to be negative. I turned to seeing if um, my issues was something to do with mediumship and doing that route. I started trying to train myself off of what I could find on the internet. I didn't know where else to go. And that turned out to be kind of a mistake because doing mediumship for dummies, uh, I was bringing the spirit in, but I didn't know what to do about boundaries with um, stuff flying off the wall or um, <laughs> odd lights were flashing in the house and scaring the family. And, and uh, then I thought, well, I can't do this on my own. So I had to find somebody and that's, where I started asking around and then some people had mentioned you and I felt good about it. Uh, I read a little bit of a bio about you with the animals and the way you are. And I thought, okay, I'm going to take this class and I'll see what, what comes of it. And that's what I did. And it helped a lot. That's and, awesome. Uh, see, now I didn't know that you were practicing on your own before, or maybe right. I did and I just forgot. Yeah, yeah I, I was practicing on my own because I, I just took anything I could find on the internet and went with it. And it's, 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 there was no one to ask questions to. You were just reading uh, what, I, what you could find and Googling what you could find. And you couldn't ask questions of what you might be doing wrong or what you might be doing right. And it was better finding someone that could tell you that one-on-one, -on -one, that experienced this as well. And that's where I found you. Oh, I'm so happy. Spirit led you the way, right? Yeah, it's very hard to find somebody here, and you are the best person, and still the best person to talk to about it. Thank you. So, um, when you took so the class, what yeah, was what was one of the um things that you remember in class that you took away that you still think about? Um. Probably meditation. Uh, meditation is very important. Uh, that's how, how I connected with my spirit guides more and connected with uh, past loved ones. I didn't know that um, that we could uh, communicate through mediumship, I knew, through meditation with that. And uh, that's one thing you had taught was how to do it properly, uh, to do it in a private place and uh, to basically just what to use to ground yourself while doing it. I didn't, didn't know how to do any of that. And that's what I took away and I still take away from it and what certain crystals to use as well with that and uh, writing everything down. And I never, I never learned any of that. And I, I took that away from the class and it's, I still use it to this day and it's, it helps me a lot. Love it. Yeah. And then um, what would you, what would you say that you call yourself or what was your strongest gift that developed through the, the class that you still use today? Um, probably saging. Uh, I, I, go, I still go into a lot of people's houses and I still have a lot of people that call me to, to clean the energy in their home. 
Um, I believe that is still my strongest gift. And I still go around and uh, uh, probably just clear the energy in people's homes. And once in a while, I'll get something from that house as well. And I'll let them know. Um, so I, probably that's my, my biggest gift uh, still from that. And once in a while, I, I still will do some readings for people. But uh, more or less, house cleanings is, is what I brought back from it. Yeah, so more paranormal type of... Yeah, yeah, the negative energy that's, that uh, sits in people's homes. There's not a lot of people that go around and clear that energy, and a lot of people uh, don't recognize what that energy could be. It creates a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety in people's homes. And uh, especially if you have children, that's even worse. So that's what I like to do. What a blessing, you know, yeah. really. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, you know, you were talking about where you were at before class and the things that were happening and that you didn't understand what was going on. And so now that you're, it's after class, have those things cleared up or, or how is your life now? Anxiety wise and all that too. Nope. Nope. It's, it's still there. You just got to uh, pick and choose your battles. Um, my anxiety is still there. Um, sometimes you have to uh, take the anxiety and you have to figure out what it is. You have to write it down. Um, it's hard to control it. Um, I still get stuff that flies around. That's okay. It's, it's, it happens. It's just um, uh, I'm used to it already. The family is still used to it. Um, they know things happen. Um, I still sage the house. It, it calms things down. Uh, but it's, it's always going to be there. And then um, that's just the way it is. But you're able to manage it better, do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, I can manage a lot better now because of the, from the class, right? I, I learned a, a lot of, I wouldn't say tricks, but a routine that I have to do to make sure that everything stays in its place. Once in a while, you're going to have something that comes through, but that's okay. Like, it, it's just, uh, just there to let you know that it's there and it's not there to hurt you. It's, it's this has got to be part of your life purpose having all that activity because I've never had a student that had as much activity as you do. Right. Um, um, I, I think a lot of it is probably from me being brought up in cemeteries and funeral homes when I was young, right? I, I, like just being with my dad who was working at funeral homes all his life and uh, me seeing people getting cremated and being in uh, mausoleums and at a lot of funerals and seeing a lot of um, people that were deceased and running around funeral homes by myself when I was a kid, right? And, and that was just me when I was five to six years old. And I, I think maybe something attracted me to it and maybe something still pushes me. I, I don't know why, like you said, stuff like that happens, but it, it doesn't bother me. Nothing's ever scratched me or, or punched me that I know of. And, Right. If, some, if a picture falls off the wall or something flies off the counter, that's fine. We, we know something's there. It's not trying to hurt us. It's just trying to get our attention. Right. Yeah. I love that you say that too, because it's putting it in a different perspective. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Not all paranormal experiences are, are negative. Sometimes it's just somebody saying, Hey, I want right. you to know I'm here. <laughs> I still mean yeah. something. <laughs> right. Right. Ghosts are people too. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I really don't believe that there's so many paranormal experiences as there are spiritual. Good way to put it. Yeah. Good way to yeah. put it. We really don't know what their intentions are when they're trying to get a hold of you. Right. Right. They so are right. any of your kids, um, do they experience, uh, are they gifted? Uh, my youngest daughter is. Yeah. Yeah. She, um, she's six years old. And uh, she talks about her grandpa, who she's never met. Um, she holds his hand. She talks to him. Um, uh, she's had some of her toys move on their own. And she's not scared by it. She just comes and tells me. And uh, she's big into crystals and rocks. She, uh, she washes them. And she talks to me about uh, cleaning her rocks for her with the smoke and stuff like that. So, yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty smart. And she's pretty open. I uh, love that. The other two really aren't. But she is. She's. She's a. I call her my little sensitive. Yeah. So, good. And you know your dad is around you so much. Like oh, you talk yeah. about him, and it's just like yeah. bing, bing, pops in my head, you know. Or um, there was one picture of you, and I was like, "There's a man standing in that window, and he had a pocket full of change." 
Yeah, that's what he always did. He used to always stand there with his hands in his pocket and jiggling his change in his pocket. Yeah, that's what he always did. He's still doing it. Yeah, he always still does it. And uh, I used to go to uh, spiritualist churches with him and uh, used to go see mediums and have the cards read and uh, table flipping and uh, used to have trumpets where the spirits used to talk to. He brought me to all that stuff when I was younger too. And yeah, I guess that got me into it as well. Yeah. Wow. What is, uh, what's table flipping? Uh, it's where you put your hands on the table. Uh, Chris, uh, Teresa Caputo has done it uh, a couple times. Um, you put your hands on the table and it's, uh, the table's supposed to levitate. So you, it's, it's, it's very strange. I've, I've never done it myself. I've saw it happen. But uh, yeah, the table comes up off the ground. You have four people at uh, one corner of each of the table and uh, it comes up off the ground and sometimes it can fly around through the air. It, it's very strange. Yeah. That's funny. Have yeah. you ever, um, when I was a kid, we would play uh, stiff as a board, light as a, be light as a feather, stiff as a board? Never heard of it. So it's almost like what you're saying with the table, but you use a person. Oh. So we would take turns laying on the ground and um, the other people would just put two fingers underneath you. Yeah. And they would say light as a feather, stiff as a board over and over and over. And like they could lift you up just with their two, their two fingers. Oh, wow. Or at least I, we thought we were doing it. I don't know. Yeah. That was when I, I was a kid. There's always so many scientific explanations for everything that happens, but sometimes you just uh, you just know that it's not always about science. Exactly. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I surely appreciate you taking the time to share your experiences with with me and with the people that are watching this. I think it's it's going to, well, I know it's so intriguing for people to hear other people's experiences because we all experience something different. Right. Right. Not everybody's the same. All, all mediumship works in different ways. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, awesome. So you tell your family I said hello and um, of course we'll stay connected and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. But, uh, Always do. And uh, yeah, we're planning a trip to come to Michigan eventually. Are you really? Oh, why not? That would be awesome. You're there, of course. In the summer. Come in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. That's great to lead the way. You will, right? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'll talk to you soon. And thanks again. Bye. Bye. <laughs>